ride. <laughs> You're going to get on the gouge of the city, too, huh? No, but we might do. <laughs> Our KI Witness Extra Investigation is next. From KI-35. Where is Austin's railroad going? Tracks are disappearing and maybe your tax dollars along with them. Our exclusive pictures tell the story next. It could be the end of the line for a company hired to run Austin's city-owned railroad. That company has been accused of mismanagement, of costing taxpayers hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. And KI's investigative reporter, Remy Barron, joins us now with tonight's KI Witness News Extra. It's quite a story. Quite a story. Well, some say that taxpayers are being taken for a ride. The city hopes to eventually run a light rail system on the line, but critics have alleged for years the railroad is being looted at that, and that some parts of the line are simply being left to rot. Now we have exclusive evidence that at least that last allegation is true. This is how Austin's city-owned railroad looked in 1988. The entire line, for the most part, clean and in good operating condition. Through the Open Records Act, KI Witness News has obtained two videotaped inspections of the rails. This one made in 88. And the other made just last year. Today, in many places, the rails are crumbling or so overgrown with vegetation, they are unusable. Doug Killow with the Austin Railroad Preservation Society says half a million dollars in used rails have disappeared. And he blames Austin Northwestern, the company operating the line for the city. The truth is they operate 23 railroads around the country and they can pull up this rail and take that to another operation and it's a very useful asset to them. And you're saying they could use it? Yes, exactly, and that's, that's the obvious reason why it was taken up. The city owns the railroad but asked Capital Metro to manage things. In turn, Cap Metro hired Austin Northwestern as the operator. But things have gone downhill rapidly. CAP Metro notified AUNW in December that it is in default of its operating contract. CAP Metro cites rail being removed without notifying the owner. Failure to upgrade the line as required under a million dollar federal grant. And poor maintenance as demonstrated by the many derailments and federal fines. This is sound off. <laughs> Back to the videotape. This man is Dennis Kling, former Austin Northwestern general manager. He apparently didn't know his words were being recorded during the 1988 inspection. Why don't you just get rid of the damn turnouts? They won't have to. Well, we were, we're going to. Are you? Okay. When we need it. Even back then, there's talk about dismantling parts of the track. Since this tape was made, miles of the line east of downtown and west of Fairland have been closed to freight traffic. And some of the track and switches have been removed. But the most disturbing comments on the tape come in this exchange between Kling and an unidentified passenger. You're going to get on the gouge of the city, too, huh? No, but we might do. <laughs> and, uh, and actually, I prefer to call it, I prefer to call it uh, assessing charges for services rendered. Oh, uh, yeah. That sounds better. I brought this to the attention of Cap Metro GM Michael Bolton. Since I haven't seen uh, or heard that particular part of the tape, uh, it sort of reinforces, uh, even without hearing that portion of the tape, it reinforces my concern relative to the use of the asset. And it's one of the reasons why we are seriously considering a, a forensic audit. Bolton says the forensic audit would account for all missing rail, switches, and money. Austin Northwestern President Mac Irving declined an on-camera interview, but off-camera he told me if the company removed rail, it was used to fix other parts of this line, not one of the parent company's other lines, and he says his company has done nothing to breach its contract with Cap Metro and the city. Well, Remy, when can we expect some action on any of this at all? Well, What's Cap like Metro it? is giving the railroad one last chance until August 15th to correct the problems. Otherwise, the yeah. company will no longer be working on the railroad. Yeah, August 15th is just around the corner then. That's right. Okay. Thank you very much, Remy. Amazing information there. Nice yeah. job, Remy.